Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I just got a a, 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 a text saying that the local bookstore is having a flash sale on the entire downstairs, and I can't, I can't get any, I can't get any more books. I can't do it. I don't have the room for them in my Jeep. I just don't. Oh, do these are these people over here yet? I don't know if these people are over here yet. Let me go see. There's a not a couple of. Mm, a woman and a man arguing about baby. Oh, but I do have to go over here for the final, apparently the final ranking. Oh, let's see if these two say anything about this. Uh, the final Krogan. Nope. Final Keeper. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. Uh -huh. I mean, they are beautiful. They are legitimately amazing. Like, and just the freaking... <laughs> so good. I was never a fan of this statue. The Krogan monument just seems more impressive to me. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Krogan are pretty, pretty impressive looking creatures anyway, so... I, I believe it. They're not quite as streamlined. Eventually over here, there's a woman who like wants me to do a renegade quest, which I've only done once. Because I only played a renegade once. This sneaky hallway. <laughs> this keeper, not keeper, break. Hanar doesn't mind, apparently. If I go into, this is where the evil AI shows up. Uh, here we go. It can't, there's no, there's actually no way that it was that easy. Like, it's, it's never been that, I have never completed all the keepers in my first time in the Presidium. I've never done that. Something is, something is terribly wrong. Let's see, you guys have opinions? <coughs> yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Krogan rebelled against the council, yet they have a statue on the citadel. Mm. And we Quarians still live as outcasts. The qu At least you still uh, live. Uh. In another 200 years, this statue might be the only evidence my people ever existed. Uh, it's right. Everybody's got a chip on their shoulder, and for good reason, you know. Tranquil, calm, relaxing. Wake me when this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard him say that. <laughs> Tranquil, calm, relax. I'm done. Let's leave now. That's <laughs> wake me when this is over. It wasn't even like a wake me when this is over. It was wake me when this is over. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> uh, we could go. Oh, uh, sorry. That's right. I haven't done that yet. I keep getting distract distracted. I knew I was making a route for a reason. I wasn't just wandering around enjoying the. Seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places. Lounges. The embassy lounges are better, but they don't have any decent entertainment. It's run by bureaucrats. They probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get. <laughs> You're probably right. Uh, it's the opposite of gentrification, I guess. <coughs> Going on. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Do you all know everything? Do you guys just know? Did she tell you everything? That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. Though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you are just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. And opening opening itself up to telepathic uh, <coughs> sort of stuff. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. I mean, with biotics, I mean, you can kind of, it's like space magic. Woo! Like the Asari. I don't think most biotics don't do, like, any mind reading thing, obviously. The Asari have that special, like, the mind meld thing. That's, I think that's unique to them, not to biotics. Hello! Commander, 
I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. Oh. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Oh. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Mm. Here, Commander. Charm. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, <gasps> I would like you to yes, have this small trinket. the trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Bye bye. It was nice talking to you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you. Strength. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big sucker for that sort of a thing, where like a game will like like according to, according to the actions you've taken and potentially your backstory or whatever. It's like, hmm, let me read you and your motivations, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> tell me what I am. You know, she says though, your your skin is as tough as the scales on any Turian, and I'm like, isn't technically the Turian like skin is actually quite soft. Like, it's sort of, ex it, it, it looks hard, but apparently it's supposed to actually be pretty flexible. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not actually, it doesn't, it's not even really a scale. It's more just like beaded, rep, almost like reptile skin, you know? So, that would be maybe more accurate to say something about Krogan or something, but <coughs> I think the Turian, I don't know why my, I'm like, my chest is like not working. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um. I thought I, I, I thought that was more of the renegade one too which I am not I don't think yeah, I don't have any points in renegade but maybe it's not I thought there was a different one if you were more paragony but I mean at the same time like right like it makes sense as a paragon right like you might you, you sacrifice yourself in a lot of ways for the greater good and you do what you must as a soldier but like, you still kind of, like, keep, like, I like it, right? Where it's like, you keep a wall up between you and everybody else, you know? And maybe someday, somebody will find their way through that wall. <laughs> she didn't say that, but I, that's what I always, uh, you know, freaking tropes. I love them. I love those certain ones. Eat them for breakfast. <laughs> but, yeah, it's the le the leadership that's important and the strength. Like, regardless of you being, like, because a paragon doesn't mean you're, like, squishy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean that you're, like vulnerable or whatever which you know you can be at any point in time but um like it takes a lot of strength and courage to be able to do what you need to do as shepherd regardless of if you're paragon or renegade so and like it, even though you're doing good and you're kind or whatever like if you're a paragon like you still might have like you're a good person you still might have those walls you know in order to like help keep you sane like it can be useful. Oh, what do I want to do? Should I go get? <coughs> Why are my lungs? My lungs don't work right now. Yeah. So Emily Wong and Rita. Yeah. Let's let's get those done. We'll just get those done. Where do I want to go for that? I could take a transit, but this game is so pretty. I might still take a transit just to expedite things, because I think I've wandered through every place and gotten what I need. Like the different little quests that have popped up in each area. I could go talk to, well, maybe it's later? I don't know. For Chorbin. <coughs> Like, if I go talk to him now, it'll only trigger that one quest. So maybe I shouldn't have. I don't think Chorbin actually shows up. 
if you don't do the gym lead thing, but I could be wrong. I am one of those people who tends to play very similar, well, I try to make different decisions when I go through my second time, but not always. among my people, but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. Hmm. Yeah, it's different. There's different kinds of dancing. <laughs> and these women, I don't know, it, it is kind of funny, right? Where, like, dancing is seen as, like, a high art, but if you do it partially naked or whatever, everyone's like, oh, man, now we're demeaning you. It's like, God, uh, just, just take a chill pill. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. It's true. Oh, I think now I can go talk to CSAC. Oh no, I gotta go back to freaking Rita. Oh, Harkin's still here? Oh, I wanna kick him in the teeth. Oh yeah, here we go. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Uh, I guess we better go find out. Stealth, it's about stealth. Undercover operations. Because we just walked. We, I'm like, I'm like, oh man, not a freaking Rita shouldn't just be like running around <coughs> talking to everybody and everything about her sister being an informant for a C second. And I walk into Jenna while she's in at her work, and I'm like, hey. Ah, you're working for CSEC, but now Fist is gone, so it's all good. Does it really need to be a big deal? I think not. You. Oh, hey, let's see what Tally says. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. I, it's such a terrible. I don't know perception on the Quarians. Like, I'm sure some of them are beggars and thieves. Like, everybody's got somebody who's, like, beggars and thieves in their in their groups, but they're, it's just, you know, it's just an untrue perception that's pushed on them to make them more ostracized. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Oh, well, I don't follow you. Ah! You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, Maybe there's a way we can help each other. Hmm. Always thinking ahead, detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? Oh, what? Fine. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I mean, militarizing the police is not a great idea, but that's just me. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. All right. Where can I find this Jax? 
Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. It's me. I'm going to go buy illegal arms. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm an expert. I'm obviously very good at undercover operations. Also, everybody recognizes my face. At least, I guess, at least the people who need to. Your everyday Joes probably don't, but a lot of the people in the Alliance do. And a lot of the people just around, like, the rec- Well, the rec Yeah, the requisitions officer recognizes me. Markets. I have arrived. I need to go to the lower levels. Tor oh, this is where you come in. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Sure, the goods. This is actually different. That looks about right. Damn straight it Different is. Krogan. These mods are the best in the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. I think last time I did this, I I shot everybody to Kingdom Come on accident. So I'm curious. I don't know if I've ever played it. I've ever d played it out like this. I'm coming back, CSEC. I am glad that I've played this enough to have at least a general idea of where stuff is, at least in the vicinity of where I'm at, because this place is kind of a maze, which would make sense. <laughs> For a giant space station. I have COVID. <laughs> ah, I don't think so. I'm fully vaccinated. I have my little... Oh, I should take my thing to go get a donut. I have my little vaccination card to prove it. And I haven't even gotten a free donut yet for it. I don't know. Maybe it's not the same everywhere. But I think it, I think in the U.S., I think in all the U.S., you can take your vaccination card and go get free donut, like one free donut, I think a day or something, for a year, if you want. Uh, I don't know if they're still doing that, but I don't eat donuts much anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Commander, I hear you have something for me. Eh. Here's your shipment, Chalik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Yeah, but now she's gonna be like, she's gonna have like a freaking target on the back of her head, you know? Because they're gonna like, they're gonna like take her out of like freaking wherever she is, and Kor's den. And then it's like, oh, no, yeah, I just wanted to get a different job and stuff. But people will be suspicious about the timing of things, you know? She's just a regular civilian. She's like, like have, you should probably have somebody who's trained, you know, before you do something like this. Like, having, I get it, he's like, we're really understaffed. I'm like, but is it worth putting a civilian at risk? I think she offered is the thing. Oh, wait. Uh, I think we go back to... Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess I don't have to. But I am anyway. Whoa! Oh. This guy's getting chucked out. For cheating. He's just a little Solarian. walk past him. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. And yet here you are, cheater. Cool. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. 
but this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. Uh-huh. I just need a few more wins recorded. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. Oh, I still have it on my journal. I can probably come back and talk to him. He didn't hand it to me. It's not what I heard. And what did you hear exactly? More rumors about strange metal creatures with real AI. But there's more. Reapers! Reapers! I heard they had some connection with the ropes. Reapers! Not this again. Why is that so hard to believe? Whatever you say, just don't expect us to believe it. I think Rex said, huh? <laughs> yeah. Looks like there's always one higher broken bounty. Maybe Tally? Looks like we're on status. A few of my people ah, yeah. visited here on their pilgrimage. But their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Uh, hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora again. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. <laughs> and yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Ha! <laughs> Apparently, she's very pretty and charming. And was there anything else? Oh, squad. Squad! Yes! Unlock barrier. I guess we'll get barrier unlocked. And have it soon. Oh yes, we gotta work our way down towards immunity. He's just a tank. He's just a tanky boy. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Looking good. Looking good. Radioactive rounds. Oh boy, let's see. I think this works on everybody. Not just organic. There is specific ammo types for organics and for non-organics. I was like getting ready to go back out into space. I'm like, la di da. Like, time to go into space. I forgot about the main mission where we finally have the evidence for Saren. Oh boy. Let's go talk to Emily Wong really quick and then we'll go do that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm ready to go explore, but I haven't even been made a new inspector yet. You gotta get made a new inspector before you can go. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. Thank you. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Yeah, I broke the chest Here, open. For your trouble. I swear there was a second thing I could unlock in his office. I might have missed it. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone Wait, else? Wait, what am I agreeing to? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Did I just have her pay me money for an interview that I'll potentially do in the future? That seems somewhat dishonest. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Oh, let's see. Do these guys say anything in here? Aw, the daisy. I love this place. The crowds, the action. It's great. <laughs> She's so fun. First time I was here, I dropped a bundle in the casino. <laughs> Got so mad, I put my fist through one of the machines. That seems like a very uh, Krogan thing to do. Honestly, <laughs> they're like, they're like Krogan. No, we don't let Krogan into the casinos because they break our machines. You just gotta pay for it. Uh, no big deal. But yeah, I think I will leave it here for now. And in the next one, we will finish this whole, well, not finish. We will basically start the whole Saren business, and I think I'll get turned into a Spectre, which is some of my most favorite. I think the Spectre induction song is my favorite song in Mass Effect 1. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.